In this video, I want to introduce the notion of something called the total differential. So let's say that we have z, and it's a function of two variables, f of x, y. What we can do is we can define something called the total differential. So the total differential, some people call it the total derivative as well, but I believe this is the most common name. So the total differential of z equals f of x, y is, and it's a really easy formula to memorize. It's dz, and it's equal to del f del x, dx plus del f del y, dy. Again, this is called the total differential of a function. So what is this for? Well, there's a couple different places where this comes up. There's actually several. One place is differential equations. If you've studied differential equations and you've studied exact differential equations, an exact differential equation is an equation which is the total differential of some function. So you use this idea uh, so somewhat to solve those types of equations. Um, if you study approximations, you can use it. Here's how. dz actually approximates delta z, which is the change in z. And so what you can do is you can say the approximation to the change in z is equal to the rate of change in the x direction times a small change in the x direction plus the rate of change in the y direction times a small change in the y direction is equal to a small change in the z direction. So you can use it for approximations as well. Uh, for us, for our purposes, we're just going to be focused on comp computing it. Uh, let's do a simple example just so you see how it works. So let's say we have, I don't know, z equals x squared y squared. Let's find the total differential of this function. So dz is equal to, well first it's del f del x. So when you take the partial with respect to x, all of your y's are constants. So this just hangs out, so you just get 2x y squared, and then don't forget the dx. So again, just take the partial with respect to x, so you get 2x, that hangs out. And then del f del y, well, the x squared is a constant, so it would be 2x squared y dy. And this would be the total differential of this function. I went through that kind of quickly, but I wanted to keep this video short. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is learning some math. Take care.